Right now, we have learned that the man shot at Miles Standish State Forest in Plymouth has died. The 25-year-old victim was hit several times. And tonight, investigators tell WBZ this was not a random act of violence, but a gunman has not been arrested. WBZ's Julia McDonald spoke to a witness who tried to save the victim's life. When we first pulled up to this scene, there were police everywhere, marked and unmarked cruisers, canine units in the woods, and the air wing searching overhead. All of this while bystanders were wrapped in towels, swimming one minute in the center of a crime scene the next. The shooter was on the other side of the building. And I immediately knew it was gunfire. Families and friends swimming in Miles Standish State Forest Wednesday afternoon suddenly ran for cover as bullets sprayed through the woods near Fearing Pond. On our way in, we heard the gunshots. Um, I told my mother to rush the girls back to the car. Investigators say Robert Aponte Flores was shot several times after an altercation in a picnic area. The New Bedford man was rushed to the hospital but did not survive. In the time it took an ambulance to get deep into the state forest, witnesses took turns trying to keep the 25-year-old alive. The, the first person there with CPR, he was there for a long time doing it, and you could tell he needed relief. There was blood accumulating, and he had three gunshots, one to the face, shoulder, and arm. Um, I relieved him for CPR. He was getting tired. Um, that's when... Um, the first responders came with defibrillators. State and local police with the Plymouth District Attorney's Office would spend the next few hours scouring the area, searching with dogs for evidence and a suspect. It's just shocking. We come here all the time, and, there's, and I'm really sorry for their family. And investigators have not released any details about whether or not the shooter and victim may have known each other. In Plymouth, I'm Julie McDonald, WBZ News. We have more.